Welcome into Live Now from Fox. Uh, I'll be your host for the next couple of hours. My name is Gabrielle Amato coming at you live from our Orlando studios, 8 a.m. Eastern time here on the East Coast. And we are taking a live look on your screens at Kyiv, Ukraine, at the Ukrainian capital, where we can report uh, as we speak that 40 Ukrainian troops and at least 10 civilians have been killed. Dozens have been injured. I do want to uh, wrap you up and get you uh, up to date with the latest news because we are monitoring uh, breaking news coming in from all around the world as the world does react to the latest Russian invasion of Ukraine. Uh, I do want to take us back out to a triple view um, of both Kyiv, Ukraine, uh, well, two views of Kyiv, Ukraine, and then, uh, of course, also a live look at a map so that we can all understand where exactly this is happening, uh, where these troops are currently positioned, where they are invading uh, and such. So let's take a live look um, at Kiev, Ukraine, a double look. We're looking at Maidan Square. Uh, that, of course, is called Independence Square in the Ukrainian capital. Uh, we also want to take a live, another live look uh, at Kiev, Ukraine, and then, of course, at that map uh, where this is going to precisely kind of paint the picture of uh, where this invasion is occurring um, and where explosions have been heard all morning long. I do want to get these graphics all correct for you before uh, we begin our recap this morning. And here we are. So we can report uh, this morning that, of course, we all woke up to news uh, that overnight Vladimir Putin has addressed his nation, uh, declaring the start of a, quote, special military operation in Ukraine overnight, addressing his nation in a televised speech uh, broadcast just before 6 a.m. Moscow time. So that would be around midnight hour time. So for those of you that are just waking up, just joining us, this is the latest news. Russia has launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine and has attacked Ukraine from all sides. Uh, large explosions were visible near Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city in addition to Kyiv, the Ukrainian capital, uh, and all around other parts of the city as well. And I do want to bring this map full for you uh, so we can take a look. We've been showing you this map for a couple of days now, and this is where uh, Russian troops have been positioned around the Ukrainian border. They are positioned from the north in that Belarus area, uh, which is why last week when we reported that Russia was going to continue those drills in Belarus, that's why this was so important, because those troops stayed to the north, which now gives them easy access to invade Ukraine from the north and potentially into Kyiv, which is what we're beginning to see today. We see Russian troops all along the eastern border of Ukraine. Uh, now, those regions, that is the, those that those two regions that we've been speaking about quite often, um, the Luhansk and Donetsk region. I'm going to uh, very quickly change the map for you so you guys can identify those regions. Now, those two regions are the two regions that uh, President Vladimir Putin earlier this week, he declared those regions independent. That is where this entire story started. He claimed those two regions independent. As you can see, those two regions very much within Ukraine, meaning President Putin did not have the right to declare those two regions as independent. He did, and now he has launched a full-scale invasion. I want to bring us back to uh, the other map that we were looking at on your screen where all of the troops are positioned. So, uh, to recap, troops from the north in Belarus have entered Ukraine. Troops from the eastern border uh, entering through that those two regions, the Luhansk and Donetsk region, they have entered Ukraine. And then that light blue area uh, to the bottom of that map. Now, the dark blue, of course, is the ocean. Light blue is going to be that Crimea region that was annexed back in 2014. Russia has troops inside of that region and they are now entering from the south as well. So this is uh, a full-scale invasion uh, coming from all sides. And these were the words of uh, President Zelensky this morning when he did address the nation. I want to bring us back out to this triple view uh, so we can recap a couple of, of other top stories and things that we are monitoring as the day progresses. Later today, we are going to be hearing from President Joe Biden as he addresses the nation amid this Russian invasion. We are getting reports that that should come in around noon. Uh, if that time does change, we will be the first to report it because that's what we do. We bring you everything live, raw, and unfiltered. Uh